Triglycerides are a type of fat found in your blood. Now, while you do need them in your blood to provide your body with energy, uh, having too many can increase your risk of heart disease. Problem is that around 25% of adults in the US have elevated blood triglyceride levels. So in this video, I'm gonna look at five ways to reduce them naturally. Number one, exercise regularly. Now the so-called good HDL cholesterol has an inverse relationship with blood triglycerides, meaning that high levels of HDL cholesterol can help lower triglycerides. Now aerobic exercise can increase levels of HDL cholesterol in your blood, which can then lower blood triglycerides. Examples of aerobic exercise uh, include like walking, jogging, uh, cycling, and swimming. Now as you'd expect, studies show that aerobic exercise is especially effective at decreasing triglycerides too. The benefits of exercise on triglycerides are most apparent in long-term exercise regimens. Uh, one study showed that jogging for two hours per week over four months led to a significant decline in blood triglycerides. Number two, eat more fiber. Fiber is a type of indigestible carbohydrate found in fruits, uh, nuts, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. Including more fiber in your diet can help reduce uh, the amount of fat and sugar that gets absorbed in your intestines, and this helps to lower the amount of triglycerides in your blood. In one study, researchers showed that supplementing with rice bran fiber decreased blood triglycerides by 7 to 8% among people with diabetes. And in this classic study, a low fiber diet caused triglycerides to jump 45% in just six days. But during the high fiber phase, triglycerides dipped back below baseline levels. Number three, lose some weight. Whenever you consume more calories than your body needs, your body turns those calories into triglycerides and stores them in fat cells. That's why losing weight is an effective way to lower your blood triglyceride levels. In fact, research has shown that losing even a modest five to 10% of your body weight can decrease blood triglycerides by 40 milligrams per deciliter or 0.45 millimoles per liter. Now, while the goal is to sustain weight loss in the long term, studies have found that weight loss can have lasting effects on blood triglyceride levels, even if you regain some of the weight. This study focused on participants who had dropped out of a weight management program. Now, even though they had regained the weight that they had lost nine months before, their blood triglyceride levels remained 24 to 26% lower. Number four, increase your intake of olive oil. Olive oil is rich in monounsaturated fatty acids, and these can reduce blood triglyceride levels, especially when they're replacing another type of fat. In this study, researchers gave elderly participants four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil daily for six weeks. Now for the duration of the study, this was the only source of added fat in their diets. The results show that compared to the control group, uh, those having the olive oil uh, saw a significant decline in triglyceride levels, uh, total cholesterol, and LDL cholesterol levels. To maximize those benefits of olive oil, use extra virgin olive oil and use it to uh, replace uh, other types of fats like uh, trans fats or seed oils, uh, even saturated fats uh, if you eat a lot of them. Number five, eat fatty fish twice weekly. Fatty fish is well known for its benefits on heart health and for its ability to lower uh, triglyceride levels. This is mostly due to its content of omega-3 fatty acids, a type of polyunsaturated fatty acid that is considered essential, meaning you need to get it through your diet. So olive oil was a monounsaturated fat and fish oil is a polyunsaturated fat. Now both the dietary guidelines for Americans and American Heart Association recommend eating two servings of fatty fish per week. In fact, doing so can decrease the risk of death from heart disease by 36%. A 2016 study showed that eating salmon twice a week significantly decreased blood triglyceride concentrations, increased HDL, and had other huge benefits on blood markers associated with heart disease risk. Salmon, herring, mackerel, uh, tuna, and sardines, these are all types of fish that are very high in omega-3 fatty acids, uh, which will benefit uh, your triglyceride levels. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.